Shag is the last one, goes straight in, all set. And away they go to a good beginning. Semper Fortis out well, but so is Tam and God. Tam and God will go on to lead them, touch by orders and dropping in right behind the leaders. Alongside of that comes Arizona Moon. Accelerators caught a little wide into the turn. They're going a fast pace out here. Then we drop back another four, Arizona Moon, and Meshagas is at the back. They head past the three-quarter pole, and Tam and God taking a nice hold. Got his ears pricked. He's keen to run today. Tam and God in front by two lengths. Accelerators on the far side. Who's out in the white cappers right there, followed by Semper Fortis in fourth. Then we come back to touch by Autism, red cap five off the leaders. A big gap of six back to Meshagas, and Arizona Moon has dropped out last. They strung out as they go past the half-mile pole, and Tam and Guard and Flavion Pratt still lead them just over a length. Accelerators right there on the far side. Between runners comes Who's Out, and down at the rails, Semper Fortis. These four tightly group. Then back to touch by Autism in fifth. Meshagas is still seven off the leaders, and then Arizona Moon. They are coming towards the quarter pole, and now Accelerate takes on Tam and Guard. Tam and Guard and Accelerate head and head into the home turn. Semper Fortis is in with a shot from third. Homeward bound, Accelerate just gets the lead. But Tam and Guard's not done, and now here's Semper Fortis. Semper Fortis, gamely on the outside, a terrific horse race. None of the three will give an inch. It's Accelerate, Semper Fortis, Accelerate, Accelerate won it. Semper Fortis second, Tam and Guard a close third. They're all in line. And they're off in the Los Alamitos Derby. And it was a good start for Blackjack Cat and Chris and Dave is also showing speed. Semper Fortis right in behind them. And Accelerate was just a half a step slow out of the gate. And he's now moving up on the extreme outside a joint third as they pass the stands with one lap to go. Kernland Road races fifth, nice and easy, about seven or eight lengths off the lead. Michigas is just in behind him. Sugar Buzz second last in the early going. And Arizona Moon is the trailer as they make their way around the first turn. And it's Chris and Dave showing the way three quarters of a length but blackjack cat is going to turn up the pressure right now as they move on to the back stretch 23 and 3 was that opening quarter mile accelerate is in the clear now third while semper fortis races down to the inside and these top four are pretty well bunched for the run up the back stretch they've opened up a big gap on curlin road who's fifth but about nine lengths off the lead then it's michigan sugar buzz and arizona moon trails 48 seconds flat was the half mile as they chase Chris and Dave to the far turn. Chris and Dave, Blackjack Cat, Accelerate going to be widest. Room at the fence for Semper Fortis, and he takes advantage. Semper Fortis dives down to the rail and comes away with a short lead as they move around the turn. Semper Fortis, Accelerate on the extreme outside. Blackjack Cat, these three now try to kick on from Chris and Dave, who's got to dig down and find more, and they're at the head of the stretch. Accelerate widest into the lane, come calling with Semper Fortis. Semper Fortis accelerate and Blackjack Cat running a big one between them. Semper Fortis the inside still there. Accelerate Blackjack Cat trying to get to him. Semper Fortis the leader as they come down to the final 16th. Accelerate now wearing him down on the outside. They come down to the line. Semper Fortis accelerate. Accelerate wins the Los Alamitos Derby. Semper Fortis a big one in second. Blackjack Cat was third. Goes in, they're all set. Feel for the TVG San Diego handicap sent on their way. Rider's foot has come out the iron on Al Herfano. His last early, he's getting his feet back in the irons. No, he's not yet. Quickest into stride here is Accelerate, and he goes on with it. Donworth is racing right there in the second spot. Tucking in behind them comes Cat Burglar. Now still on the outside here, Al Harafano, the rider, unable to get his feet in the irons. He's got his left foot, trying to get it back in, but not yet. And Arrogate and Mike Smith, very comfortable at the back. Arrogate is no more than four and a half off the leader. On to the backstretch they go now and accelerate on the inside. 
but Al Herfano, the rider doesn't have much control, is going up on the outside to ensure the pace is good. Donworth races between them. In behind that comes Cat Burglar, and Arrogator still last, just on a long rein though. Arrogator's last, giving them about six length start now. They have less than a half mile to go, and it still accelerate the leader on the inside, taken on now by Donworth. Cat Burglar is in third, then comes Al Herfano, and let's see, Arrogate from the back now, Mike Smith's having to push him along, but Arrogate starting to pick it up. Arrogate still has six to make up though, they have a quarter of a mile to go and accelerate out here. We're looking at a massive upset. Arrogate is still far, far back in the four spot. And Accelerate has opened up. Accelerate is well clear to Domworth. Arrogate just not in the mood today. Arrogate will finish far, far back. And it's Accelerate and Victor Espinosa clear by eight, nine lengths here. Accelerate romps home in the San Diego. Second, Donworth. Third, Cat Berger. Obviously, something amiss today with Arrogate. He never fired at all. And Al Hufano was last. Racing. Pavel commences well with the Lieutenant Irish Freedom. Moop to Hige and top of the game is down the outside. Top of the game moving up for a share of the early lead with Moop to Hige as they greet the judges a lap to go. A length in front of Irish Freedom who covers Pavel. And then the grey win the space between horses accelerates on his inside. Prime attraction out wide, followed by the Lieutenant and Ike Walker. Moop to Hige just in front of top of the game at the 7 eighths. Accelerate getting up on the inside third from a three wide Irish Freedom. Pavel off the fence in the early stages for Gutierrez. Splits horses a close fifth behind a very leisurely pace at the three quarters pole. Prime attractions out deep, followed by the Lieutenant win the space. Ike Walker two and a half lengths last of all. Coming past the 5 8 pole, Irish Freedom on top of the game, moving in unison to get on terms with Moob to Hige. A length and a half, Pavel running fourth. On his inside is Accelerate, prime attraction, three wide, some three lengths off the lead at the half mile. A gap of three lengths, the lieutenant win the space with Ike Walker. Moob to Hige on the inside of top of the game, and Irish Freedom, a line of three leaders into the far turn. Chased by Pavel, prime attraction, and Accelerate, five clear of the lieutenant, win the space, and Ike Walker, three wide last. They're in three groups of three in the San Pasquale. Five sixteenths from home. Moop to Hige, Irish Freedom, top of the game. Now a four wide prime attraction joins the fray, followed by Pavel looking for somewhere to go. And so is Accelerate. The rail opening for Accelerate. Pavel's badly blocked, though, in the purple cap. Then comes the lieutenant. Accelerate skims the fence. Heads Moop to Hige at the eighth pole. Top of the game. Irish Freedom, prime attraction. And Gutierrez has to yank Pavel across multiple sets of heels. It's Accelerate. Accelerate the leader, he's kicking right away for Espinosa. Accelerate in the San Pasquale, beats prime attraction. Moop to his third, ahead in front of Pavel, and top of the game was fifth. Racing. And Giant Expectations had a stumbling getaway from gate four. He was very poorly served as the gate sprung open. The inside pair, top of the game and prime attraction, come out cleanly. Moob to Hige is going fast down the outside. Then comes Curlin Road. And he's followed closely by Accelerate, then Giant Expectations around to fear the cowboy. Moop to Hige in front, greeting the judges with a circuit to negotiate. By one length, Accelerate, top of the game on the inside. Prime Attraction easing back a joint fourth, with Curlin Road pushing between horses and Giant Expectations out wide. Three lengths off the lead, past the seven-eighths pole, fear the cowboy, three lengths last. Moob to Hige with the blinkers off, nonetheless has the role of pacemaker in the big cap and he takes them into the back stretch by one length, Accelerate, followed by top of the game. Giant Expectations gradually improving his position. He gets to fourth, two and a half lengths off the pace. Then Prime Attraction together with Curlin Road and Fear the Cowboy is last of all with seven lengths to pick up. Less than five eighths from home. Moob to Hige in the front, Accelerate enjoying smooth transit along the back stretch this afternoon. He's perched second. 
second. Giant Expectations as third. Top of the game, the inside, niggled along. A length and a half to fear. The Cowboy picking off a couple from the rear as he moves by Curlin Road and Prime Attraction. Three-eighths left to go. Accelerate comes to move to Hige. Giant Expectations running a giant race after that setback at the break. He's up on terms with Accelerate coming to the quarter foul. Top of the game is fourth. And then fear the Cowboy trying to rally from the rear but still five lengths out of it. It's Accelerate turning away giant expectations at the top of the lane. He establishes a one and a half length lead. Move to his battling on as giant expectations flattens out. He's peaked on his run. The other cowboy is a distant fourth followed by top of the game but past the eighth pole comes Accelerate with an unassailable lead in the set. Anita Handicap. John Sadler has his big cap. Accelerate by five lengths. Move to his second. The other cowboy six away third from giant expectations and top of the game was fifth. They're at the post. They're off. There's a horse that refused. It's Blue Ridge Traveler. No, it's Inside Straight. Inside Straight refused to break. The defending champ is out of the race. Untrapped and Hawakam are showing speed. Untrapped to the front. Colonel Dark Temper is a second. Accelerate is three wide. City of Light four wide at the clubhouse turn. Then comes Hedge Fund and Looking at Lee. Followed by Malibu Max and Hawakam. Then Sonneteer. And the early trailer is Blue Ridge Traveler. To the back stretch they run and they are crawling on the front end. Untrapped is the leader from Colonel's Dark Temper in second. Untrapped is a neck in front. Colonel's Dark Temper is second by a length and a half. To the Big cap winner, Accelerate, who is third now in a length and three quarters from the front. City of Light is poised just outside of him. Hedge Fund is at the rail in fifth. He's got two and a half or three to make up. Then it's a big gap to the next flight. Looking at Lee, Malibu, Max, and Sonneteer. Hawakam is 12 behind, and Blue Ridge Traveler is the trailer. Past the half mile pole in the 72nd Oakland Handicap, and Untrapped and Colonel's Dark Temper are about to be joined by Accelerate 3 wide and City of Light four wide. Untrapped still ahead in front. Here comes City of Light in the pink silks. He and Accelerate now go by and City of Light and Accelerate set the stage for a great stretch battle. City of Light is outside. Accelerate is inside and City of Light off the top of the turn is now a length in front. Accelerate will have to battle back. Four back to Untrapped and Sonneteer. City of Light to the final 16th and he's clear now. He's a two length leader over Accelerate in second who is trying to come back at him city of light accelerate cuts it back to a length city of light accelerate a half city of light the 72nd oakland handicap goes to city of ready racing and a good line out of the gate off the inside accelerate is showing very prominently in fact leads early from dr door City of Light between this pair and Pavel is going to follow Dr. Dora across. He's fourth, followed after two and a half lengths by Prince of Arabia, and then comes full of luck. As they approach the finish line the first time, Talamo takes Dr. Dora to the front from City of Light, Accelerate, and Pavel in the three path. Three lengths to Prince of Arabia and two and a half to Full of Luck. Dr. Dora is the leader out of the stretch. City of Light striding up within a half length of him. Accelerate tucking in third with seven eighths to go, attended closely by the Grey Pavel. Two and a half lengths, Prince of Arabia, and three to Full of Luck. As they make their way past the six furlong pole, it's Dr. Door in front, just over a length. City of Light stalking. Accelerate third inside Pavel. Three and a half lengths, Prince of Arabia. Full of Luck is now five lengths behind him. Coming past the five-eighths pole into the back stretch and Dr. Door making play from City of Light. Accelerate Pavel, clear of Prince of Arabia, who is six lengths off the lead in the middle stages and in turn six ahead of Full of Luck. To the half-mile pole in the Gold Cup at Santa Anita. Dr. Door is showing the way by just over a length to City of Light. Accelerate Pavel. No changes in structure. Prince of Arabia continues to travel solo fifth and several more lengths to Full of Luck. Three-eighths left to go and it's 
Stock the door by a half length. City of Light edging closer. Then Parvel on the outside of Accelerate, who's in a pocket at the 5.16s pole, clear of Prince of Arabia, full of luck. To the court of pole, Dr. Door being joined by City of Light. They're a length and a half in front of Accelerate. Espinosa is working him into the clear. Parvel dropping off a little bit fourth at the top of the stretch, and Dr. Door under the whip. City of Light on his outside. Here comes Accelerate. Accelerate moves up sharply at the eighth pole. He's gone straight past them. Accelerate does just that. He has the big cap gold cup double at his mercy. Accelerate running right away. Wins by four lengths to Dr. Door, who outstayed City of Light. Pavel finished fourth, and they were clear of Prince of Arabia and full of luck. one. 2.35 goes in, gates closed, all set. Feel for the million dollar TVG Pacific Classic sent on their way. Accelerate did not get the best of starts. Bobble just slightly at the start, they'll accelerate. He's in the green cap too from the outside. Roman Rosso is going to go on to lead them early. Roman Rosso, prime attraction, takes off the rail. Accelerate now back in the third spot. Pavel is in fourth, gives that lead a four-length start. The extreme outside is 2.35. Dr. Dorr and the lieutenant contend to trail early. They're not far back. Those six lengths would cover the lot. Into the turn they go, and it's Roman Rosso and Flavian Pratt dictating the pace, just a sensible one. They're not flying, not crawling either. Prime attraction, second. Here's Accelerate in third, a length and three quarters off the leader. Two and a half back to Pavel in the fourth position. The lieutenant in the pink is down at the rail, 2.35 on the far side. Dr. Door last, eight lengths would cover the field. No change in the order, all riders happy with their position as they make their way to the half mile. Roman Rosso, Flavian Pratt just pulled down a set of glasses there. Prime attraction now goes to put the pressure on and accelerate on the far side. Those three now kick on, Roman Rosso at the rail. Prime attraction between them, accelerate on the far side. Two and a half to Pavel in fourth. The lieutenant is seven off them with Dr. Dorr, 235's dropped out. Past the three eighths they go, and Roman Rosso's the first one to weaken. Accelerate kicks for home, and there goes Accelerate, and he's widening fast now. Prime Attraction can go with him. Pavel is coming on to take second. At the top of the lane, Accelerate. Joel Rosario shaking the reins at him. He's opened up six, seven lengths as they turn for home. Pavel second, the others just racing for third money. And it is all Accelerate clear by double figures with a sixteenth of a mile to go. They said he would overwhelm this field, and he certainly has. Accelerate for John Sadler, and Joel Rosario gets his fourth. Accelerate in the Classic. It'll be Pavel second, prime attraction third. Roman Rosso was in behind that. And then we came back to the Lieutenant Dr. Dorr and 235. Accelerate after acting up in the gate is not the best served. Shades of victory is off smartly from the inside. West Coast is going up to second from Isotherm. The Lieutenant, prime attraction. Accelerate four wide at the rear. He's two lengths behind West Coast in the early going. Shades of victory makes the running out of the stretch to the 7 8 pole. West Coast is second, Isotherm the inside, a length and a half to prime attraction, Accelerate covering extra ground around the first turn, now four and a half lengths off the leader. At the tail is the Lieutenant, six furlongs to go, it's shades of victory, three quarters to West Coast, a similar margin, Isotherm, Smith allowing West Coast to stride up and join shades of victory at the 5 8 pole. The pace quite good for this distance, West Coast is a bit fired up, he's fresh and he's fast, West Coast kicks to a one length lead, shades of victory is second, Isotherm is a half length back, edging off the rail and Accelerate moves to a closer fourth out wide, he's suddenly within a length of the leader, West Coast all 
almost joined by Isotherm. Some cat and mouse tactics past the half mile pole. Accelerators a half length back out three wide. Shades of Victory was swimming in the deep end of the pool today. The Lieutenant and Prime Attraction, the last couple. It's Isotherm. West Coast the inside. Accelerate joins them smartly out wide. West Coast is relegated to third and at the quarter pole it's Accelerate into the lead. From Isotherm and West Coast under the whip tries to hang tough along the rail. They're clear of the Lieutenant Prime Attraction. Three sixteenths left to go. It's Accelerate with West Coast dogged on the inside. Isotherm between them running a bold race. West Coast and Accelerate. A riveting renewal of the awesome again. Accelerate on the outside with his head in front close to home. West Coast running out of puff has given a good account of himself but Accelerate keeps powering on. Accelerate two and a half lengths coming away to meet West Coast and Isotherm. Accelerate's in there ready for the start. They're off in the Breeders' Cup Classic. Lone Sailor was off to a slow beginning, and Mendelssohn is sent out of there by Ryan Moore to grab the lead. McKinsey is close to, and as is Thundersnows, down on the inside. Then it's West Coast. Accelerate will be fifth in the early stages, and now he's gonna come to the inside to save a little bit of ground. Then it's Roaring Lion, followed by Pavel. Mind your biscuits, six lengths off the lead through a flashy opening quarter mile in 22.68 seconds. Very, very fast for this distance. Catholic Boy is back around seven lengths off the lead at this stage. Then it's Axelrod, followed by Gunnavera. Yoshida, discreet lover, and Lone Sailor at the back of the pack, but the pace could help them as Mendelssohn speeds to the backstretch in front. McKinsey, three quarters of a length off of him. Thundersnow and West Coast are together. They are third and fourth. 46.46 was the half, so the pace has moderated somewhat. A length and a half back to Pavel, who's followed on the outside by Accelerate, the favorite, who's six right now, just poked his head into fifth, and he's four lengths off the lead. Roaring Lion is coming under pressure on the inside. Catholic Boy is outside of horses with Mind Your Biscuits, and Axelrod is sent through inside of them. Gunavera 12 lengths behind at this stage, then Discreet Lover, Yoshida, and the trailer is Lone Sailor, three quarters, 110.61. They move into the far turn with Mendelssohn, McKinsey, West Coast, and now Accelerate makes it four across the track as they round the far turn. And then it's Thundersnow running in fifth on the inside. Axelrod is sixth outside of them and under a drive. And then it's Pavel. Yoshida still about seven lengths behind, but he's unwinding and coming wide. And they're into the stretch. And it's Accelerate. And on the inside, Mendelssohn, Thundersnow, roaring up between those two as they arrive at the eight pole. Then Yoshida, Axelrod, Gunnavera's closing in late. It is Accelerate. He's coming down to the 16th pole in front. Thunder Snow on the inside is next. Then Mendelssohn, Gunavera, and Yoshida on the far outside. They're coming to the wire. And Accelerate wins the Breeders' Cup Classic for John Sadler. Gunavera's quick first gear to get over from the 12th post. And he's done exactly that. From the 12th post to the rail, pattern recognition is in front. City of Light races from second. Accelerate was away well. He's between horses, racing three lengths off the lead while fourth as Bravazo is at the inside third. Followed fifth by Tom's Day outside in True Timber. They're followed by Audible and Something Awesome. Then it's the local hopeful Gunavera. On the outside of that is the Mexican hopeful Copal Khan, third last. Second last is Imperative and Seeking the Soul is last, but not far away as they race into the Gulfstream backstretch. It's pattern recognition through the opening quarter mile in 23 and 1. He leads by an X City of Light glued to him while second. Up on the outside and now third, that's Tom's Detente. Accelerates between horses inside in Bravazo, then it's a length and a half back to something awesome racing ahead of Gunavera. He's only five lengths off the lead today. True Timber is on the far outside, seeking the soul is at the rail ahead of Imperative, then it's Audible, and now last is Kukulkan. Less than half a mile to run in the Pegasus World Cup as they round the far turn. They went 46 and four for the opening half mile. City of Light comes away with the lead. Joel Rosario says it's time to accelerate. And the Breeders' Cup winner is trying to get to the other Breeders' Cup winner with less than five sixteenths to go. A driven third is Tom Staton and something awesome and here's the matchup accelerate on the outside city of light toward the rail castellano and city of light have the lead and they cut the corner and open up city of light puts away accelerate with an eighth of a mile to go at the inside and seeking the soul then bravazo but city of light keeps going and city of light will win it it's city of light for javier castellano and a romp in the rain he won by five Second is Seeking the Soul, third is Accelerate, then Bravazo and Audible, followed by Gunavera, True Timber, Imperative, Tom's Day, Tom.